Hey everyone, today we are going to finish up 9.4 and there are two examples for today's lesson. For example 3, we are going to use the special right triangles to find a tangent. In A, we're going to find the tangent of a 60 degree angle. Because we can only find tangents for right triangles, this must be a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And from 9.2, we know that there's a special relationship between the sides of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. We know that the side that's opposite the 30 angle, that's kind of like our base. Let's say it's one, just for simplicity. And the side that's opposite the 60 degree angle, is going to be our uh, short length, shortest side times root 3. And then our hypotenuse is going to be double the short side. And now let's use this to find the tangent of the 60 degree angle. So I'm going to call my triangle ABC, so the tangent of the 60 degree angle is going to be tangent of A, is going to be equal to root 3 over 1. And let's just put this into our calculator, and you get 1.732. You could also put just put tangent of 60 into your calculator and you'll also get the same number. And let's try B. In B, we're asked if the tangent of the 60 degree angle will still be the same if the length of the shorter leg is going to be 5 instead of 1. So let's test that. Instead of the side opposite of 30 having a le length of 1, this time it will have a length of 5. And because this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the side that's opposite the 60 degree angle is going to be 5 times root 3. And again, let's find the tangent for angle A. Opposite is 5 root 3 and Adjacent is 5. 5 over 5 is going to cancel out. It's going to give us 1. So we get tangent of A is equal to square root of 3, which is equal to 1.732. So here, the value of the tangent doesn't change. This shows you that it doesn't really matter what the lengths of the sides of the triangle are. What really matters for these trigonometric ratios are the angle measures of the right triangle. Now let's move on to our last example for today. So the angle that an upward line of sight makes with a horizontal line is called an angle of elevation. Let me just give you a quick diagram of what we mean by that. So this is like our angle of elevation. This is the angle that an upward line of sight is going to make with a horizontal line. So this angle right here, that would be our angle of elevation. And we are going to combine the angle of elevation with tangent to solve some word problems. In example four, you are measuring the height of a spruce tree. You stand 45 feet from the base of the tree. You measure the angle of elevation from the ground to the top to be 59 degrees. Find the height of the tree to the nearest foot. So here is our diagram for to find the height of the tree. We have an angle of elevation of 59 degrees and we are standing 45 feet away from this tree. Notice that our angle of elevation and the tree forms a right triangle. And the height of the tree is the side that's opposite our angle of elevation because we are interested in the opposite side and we know the adjacent side. We are going to use the tangent ratio to find the height of the tree. Tangent of our angle 59 is going to be equal to opposite, which is height, over adjacent 45. Then we want to cross multiply. And then we are going to put 45 times tangent of 59 into our calculator to get 74.89. Oh, so this question wants it to the nearest foot, so we'll say about 75 feet. Let's say this one more time. For B, you are measuring the height of a lamppost. You stand 40 inches from the base of the lamppost. You measure the angle of elevation from the group, <laughs> from the ground to the top of the lamppost to be 70, 70 degrees. Find the height h of the lamppost to the nearest inch. So this time we are going to need to draw a diagram. There's my lamppost. We don't know how tall it is. We're standing 40 inches away from the lamppost and the angle is 70 degrees. Now we have our diagram. Let's set up our tangent ratio to solve for h. I get tangent of 70 is equal to h over 40 and let's cross multiply. I get 40 times tangent of 70 is equal to h, and let's put that into our calculator, and you get 109.89. We need to round to the nearest inch, so this is going to round to 110. And that's it for our lesson for today. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you have a wonderful day, and take care.